All right. Now, uh, the next lowest is number five at 45.2. 45.2. So 45% is number five. So let's jump to number five. It says the graph of f of x equals one half to the power of x is transformed given the ste given steps in order shown. And there's four different steps. Which graph represents the transformed function? So I'm going to start. Or y'all tell me, how did you start this one? Mm, let's graph the original. Let's first find out what the original looks like. It says f of x equaled one half to the power of x. There's the original. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here is just take a quick snapshot. Actually, I don't wanna use that picture. Let me try again, because I know what's gonna happen first, so I'm gonna do this again. This time I'm gonna do it that way. Okay, I'm gonna grab this, and I will use this so my drawing isn't utterly horrible. It might not be great, but it won't be just horrible. Or let me rephrase. It won't just be like a clown picture. Okay. I'm looking at what the original was, and it says first reflect across the x-axis. So which one's the x-axis, the flat one or the vertical one? <clears throat> the flat. This is the x-axis. So if we reflect across the x, that means I need to cross this graph. This needs to reflect this way. You follow? So the picture here, should end up being something like this. This reflects onto the, instead of going up, it now goes down. And so it would look something like that. So that is, I'll just do a little one. That is our first transformation. I guess I didn't need arrows on it because that one doesn't have it. But there it is, there's transformation number one. Secondly, a vertical stretch by factor of three. If you think in terms of algebra, this means all vertical is x's or y's. Y's. This means all y values get stretched by a factor of three. Factor means multiply. It can also mean divide, but uh, when it's a stretch, it's a multiply. All y's get multiplied by three. So let's come over here. Think in terms of the y-axis. Only the y-axis now. This is the y-axis. This y is approximately zero. What's zero times three? Zero. zero. That part's not going to change. What is going to change is this point over here. I don't know if you remember, but that point should have been at 1. I'll show you. It's at 1, y value. So if you multiply 1 by 3, what do you get? 3. three. three. Uh, sorry, this has been reflected to negative 1. So if I, if I multiply negative 1 by 3, what do we get? Negative 3. So it'll be down here, and it looks like I'm counting by 2, so I drew mine too high. The next point would be down here somewhere. And if you multiply, this is, let's say, negative 10. If you multiply that by negative 3, not negative 3, I'm sorry. If you multiply negative 10 by positive 3, what do you get? Negative 30. So this point here is now going to be down there. So ultimately, this graph has been changed to where it looks something like this. Remember, this part we said is still going to be right 0. So that part won't look like it's changed, but now that looks like there. That's what happens secondly. Now I'm going to do three and four at the same time because it's just shifting. Which way should we shift this? Right and down. So, uh, well, I was hoping just to copy that. Let's see if it'll all click at once. Clone. Clone, there it is. And let's go to properties and let's just change it to a different color. Let's just make it blue. Okay, all these points should go right and down. So from here, it should go right one. So I'm just gonna move it right one and then down two. So the picture should look something like this. That's steps three and four. And I get, I get, that you can't do what I just did cloning. But you could just envision this piece getting moved right and down. Which answer choices can we eliminate outright that aren't even close? Mm -hmm. Obviously C and D are way wrong. So you're just looking at these two, and even if you only got uh, graph two on your own paper, 
If it moves right and down, you can tell real quickly which one it will be. If it's got to move right and down, the answer would be this one moved to left. This one moved right. So you can kind of say this one's moving left. This one moved right. The answer is going to be A. My graph obviously is a little bit off. It looks like I'm crossing through at negative 12. Apparently, it's supposed to really cross through at negative 8. But it is what it is. So that was number 5. I believe the next lowest was uh, number 6.